What's up, y'all? Matthew 25, 23 states, His Lord said unto him, Well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. I don't know if I've done this scripture before, but it's a heavy scripture, and he placed it on my spirit to hit it up again. <laughs> so... We go eat it up again because that's what he wants me to do. So, the Most High blesses us with so many things. And we have to be grateful for everything. I don't care if it's an orange. I don't care if it's shoes. I don't care if it's the new do that you did at home. Because he granted that time and that, oh, Father, that um, gift. Thank you, Father, to be able to do those things, to... His provision is so underrated, so underrated. We complain because we pay bills and don't have no money left. What? You paid all the bills. So what, you ain't got no money left? You got food, I bet, in your refrigerator, okay? It's just little things. When you, when you show him how grateful and faithful you are over the little things, and I ain't talking about no Porsche, I ain't talking about no new car, no new, come on. Let's be real. Like, when you are faithful over the little things, food on your table every night, shoes, clothes, shelter, shelter. <laughs> Do you know how many people are homeless right now? Do you know how many people don't have food on their table? Do you know how many people are struggling, don't have a job, don't have this, don't have that, and you got it all, baby? You better count it all joy and thank him. For everything because if you are not grateful over those things he ain't giving you nothing else and you better be careful because he might take it away be very careful because an ungrateful heart is disgusting even to me so i know it's and if if i'm man and it's disgusting to me he's pure so you know it's disgusting to him anything that is unpure un ungodly that doesn't have uh, qualities of the fruits of the spirit he ain't feeling it he ain't feeling it so let's always perpetually and consistently that means every day all day take some time and praise him there's a scripture in the bible that states praise him seven times a day really he's so much more than just seven times Anytime you think about him, you should be like, thank you, Father, for this and that. Because he deserves it. You alive. Thank you, Father. You're breathing. Thank you, Father. You're fully mobile. Some people in a wheelchair. Some people bedridden. Can't walk. Some people can't talk. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for both of those. Be grateful.